I know I gotta set up my camera. I got the new camera holder. Doesn't work really well for my truck. Works for my car though. Anyway, what's up everybody? Got the Raging Rob here. Black Magic Marker. God, the sun glare is. I'm just. I got my park. I got my truck parked just in such a way where the sun glare is like. There we go. Pull my curtain up. There, is that better? Yeah. Is that, I don't know. I know, the sun was kind of glaring. I don't know. Anyway, this is in response to El Presador. Not that little, not, not that one nerd who has a channel called The El Presador tries to imitate El Presador. I'm talking Quantrell Bishop, the real El Presador. Uh, he made it, I guess he's got some kind of sock account channel where he posts his video on. It wasn't this, I don't think it was this uh, Quantrell Bishop channel. I think it was another channel he had, a side channel. Well, anyway, I got, uh, I got the video link somewhere. And I've seen the video. Basically, it's about So Real Slob 187. And uh, El Prestor said that if I'm ever in the Youngstown area again, we could do a video together again. That'd be great. I traveled the country. I The last time I was in Youngstown, I was passing through about three weeks ago. I don't remember exactly. I-80. I was passing through somewhere on my way to Indianapolis, I think. Picking up a load from Pennsylvania. Anyway, basically this is about Soul Real 187. All right. Actually, there's two things I want to talk about in this video. This is the first thing. Soul Real one. Oh, uh, the Megan P. Curls gun thing. I'll do that in another another video. So anyway, Soul Real 187, dancing hard. I mean, the guy's mentally incompetent. Um, he lives on his own. I don't know if he's collecting SSI or S S whatever the hell it is. In the state of Tennessee, because he's mentally, you know, whatever. He's not right upstairs. Uh, he had adult selective services uh, come by his apartment. I guess it's cockroach infested uh, slum that he lives in. Um, I was watching Hoarders. If you ever watch the show Hoarders, you see these uh, houses. They're like, I mean, I'm talking, they're bad. These guys have conspiracy compulsive disorders where they hoard shit and their houses are so bad that they have to sh the city shuts the water off and they shut the you know whatever off i mean we we're, we're talking about people that have dead cats and and just cat shit and all kinds of crap they just hoard the most despicable shit you could think of so anyway uh james has cockroaches in his apartment if you have a bug problem you call an exterminator right yeah that would be common sense. If I have a cockroach problem, I'm going to kill the sons of bitches. I'm going to call the exterminator and say, hey, I got a bug problem. I mean, so to live in that kind of infested shithole, you got to be not right up in the head. And it goes on beyond that. Now, El Presador, he said seven years. I think it was more like four. Because I met El Presador for the first time. Well... Well, yeah, the only time, uh, 2015 of April, so almost f about three years and ten months ago, that biblical video, and I, on my channel right after, I met El Presador, So Real James was like, he wasn't writing comments in my comment section, he was writing out fucking college-long essays in my comment section, I mean, at one after another, I'm not, I'm not talking this... 16, 17 comments. I'm talking 25 essays of just, just, just would not shut up because of how jealous he was that I met El Presador in person. A lot of these trolls that were trolling me at the time, they said it couldn't be done. They said that there is no freaking way that Raging Rob and El Presador is going to meet. But you have to ask yourself this. How many YouTubers actually met El Presador in person? How many? I mean, he's been mentioned with Keemstar. Mentioned with Keemstar. Back in 2013, you had 
Woody, was not Woody, um, uh, Wings of Redemption threaten El Presador's life. You know, Wings of Redemption was threatening suicide again for the 56th time. And he said that he was going to drive the eight hours from South Carolina to take El Presador with him. He said that. I think it was like 2013, 2012, somewhere in there. So he didn't actually go meet him. And if you think about it, Keemstar lives in Buffalo, New York. And El Presador lives in Youngstown, Ohio. They're only about less than four hours apart. If you look at Buffalo, New York on a map, where Keemstar lives in El Presador, Youngstown, Ohio, they're, they're, they're not like, they're probably three, four hours apart. They would ever have every chance in the world to meet each other. But they didn't do it. How many YouTubers have met El Presto in person? You have to ask that. I'm not talking just gaming YouTubers. I'm just talking YouTubers, period. How many? I'm the only one. I am the only YouTuber that have met, that has met El Presador in person, and that upsets El Presador's biggest fan, So Real James One Eighty Seven, and that's So Real. That's why he always talks about me. He he that you know. I have not mentioned this slob in probably two or three hundred videos that I've done. Because I pump out videos. I pump out videos. How do I say this? I pump out a lot of videos on my channels. Let me just say that. Uh. But anyway, lost my train of thought. This guy's mentally incompetent. With all these red flag laws we have now in place that the liberals are putting in place, these red flag laws, I could see something like you know him getting in, you know, in, in a. I could see something like. Him getting to, uh, put in a mental home or something. As a matter of fact, the, the apartment complex he lives at, he was on the news. James Mullen. He was on the news uh, a couple of years ago. They had a fire at his apartment complex or something like that. I found a story on Facebook. Um, his apartment complex is uh, a home for like mentally ill people that, that are not right up here in the head, you know what I mean? And people said the same thing about me, but you have to ask yourself, am I mentally ill? I pass background check after background check after background check on guns. I have a license to operate heavy machinery. Okay. Think about those things. What is... uh? So real 187 done. What does he have a license for? Can he even own a gun? You see his videos. What do you think? Our press door is right. He dances harder than Patrick Swayze in the movie Dirty Dancing. Okay. He dances harder than those tap guys you see in Vegas. Those professional dancers or tap... They had the, I don't know what the hell they are. They've got these professional dancers that they tap their shoes. and People actually pay to watch that shit. You believe that? 
That's the whole fucking show. Just pay to watch people tap their shoes for a fucking hour and a half straight. What the fuck kind of shit is that? People actually pay to see that shit? People will pay to see the weirdest shit. But yeah, there's people that pay to see that shit. But he dances harder than that. I don't even have to put a video out about him. And he dances. I'm not going to lie. I might have a double, triple chin myself. But you got to ask yourself, who's the bigger slob? Him or me? I'm what they, could, I'm what they call a controlled slob. You know what that means? I might be a slob, but I got it under control. He doesn't. He's the next Wings of Redemption of Boogie 2988. He's on that path. I got my slobbery under control. I just got back from a two mile walk. Exercising. If you don't leave, if you don't believe me, look at my previous video. Fuck Donald Trump. No, I don't want to, you know, F Donald Trump. But you, if you see the video, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Basically, there was some graffiti posted around Utah. F Donald Trump, and I did a video on it. That's what, you know. And I was out there walking, jogging, whatever. And I see So Real 187 going on his walks. You know, I seen his video where he was videotaping the deer. With Wally, the dog. Okay, that's understandable. But he's always feeding his bird a bunch of bullshit. As far as I'm concerned, it's animal abuse. I mean, look at the shit that he feeds his bird. You know? I'm calling PETA on that one. I mean... What's his, what's his damn bird's name? Costco? Not Costco. Cosmo, yeah. Cosmo. Cosmo, yeah. Costco. I mean, his bird is going to end up with diabetes with the shit that he feeds it. Is that even healthy for it? I mean, Cosmo goes nuts. Here. That's not healthy for your bird, okay? You gotta be mentally insane. You gotta be not right in the head to feed your bird that kind of shit. That's like feeding a dog chocolate. Not good. It does bad things for it. Feeding the iced tea and Mountain Dew and all that other shit. You know, I've never drinking Mountain Dew in my life. I haven't. I took two sips of it when I was like a teenager. And I, I, I'm like, oh my god, I puked it up and I never drink Mountain Dew again. I don't expect you idiots to watch all 14 minutes of this video. I just went a little longer than I anticipated. So, uh, if El Presto wants to meet up again, and we do another video again next time on Youngstown, Ohio, next time I come across, you know, Youngstown, Ohio, the top of Ohio, I mean, we could do a video, but after we do that video, we got to put Soul Real on Suicide Watch, okay? Now, I don't want to be responsible for what happens if Soul Real James, you know, does something to himself after the video. So, I think after me and El Presador do our YouTube video, we need to go down to Adult Services and sign a contract saying we're not responsible if Soul Real James offs himself after the video because he's jealous so anyway but I'm willing to uh, you know meet up with the press door again and this time don't worry I'll press door I'll keep my semi truck off the of neighborhood streets okay don't worry I know I, I don't want to terrorize the good civilians of Youngstown Ohio not good so anyway that's it I'm out